Life without the internet is unthinkable. It's used for a variety of important functions, from communicating with others, to disseminating information, to conducting business transactions, to listening to music and watching films and television shows, to social networking. But the creation of the internet is a relatively recent phenomenon. In 1958, President Dwight D. Eisenhower launched the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, also known as DARPA. The agency was initially created to respond to the Soviet Union's launching of its unmanned spacecraft, Sputnik. Its main goal was to maintain technological superiority over its adversaries, specifically in space and in the military. But the agency also was created to improve computer technology, and the primary focus on that front involved the creation of a network which would allow computers to exchange data. Flash forward to 1969, and the federal agency was now working with universities like MIT and UCLA, funding research projects on global computer communications. At UCLA, scientist Leonard Kleinrock was tasked with developing a network which would allow computers in different locations to share information. The Pentagon called the developing network ARPANET, or the Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. Throughout 1969, scientists worked on a refrigerator-sized mainframe computer, which would be used as a device to connect two computers, allowing them to share information. The mainframe computer was known as an interface message processor, the predecessor to today's router. Kleinrock showed off that processor in a UCLA video in 2009. Here we have the first piece of internet equipment ever installed in the internet. At that time it was called a packet switch. It's now called a router. And it's the size of a telephone booth. It's military hardened. It was made out of a computer, a Honeywell DDP 516, which was a modern com mini computer at the time. On September 2nd, 1969, Kleinrock's team connected that processor to a host computer in his lab. For the first time, two computers were sharing information by exchanging data. Forty years later, Kleinrock recalled that event at UCLA. So on September 2nd, the day after Labor Day, we connected this switch to our Sigma 7, and bits began to flow immediately. Everybody was there that day, wondering, will it work? And everybody was ready to point the finger at each other if it didn't. Happily, it worked just fine. It worked so well that Stanford University set up its own router, and the two host computers at UCLA and Stanford were able to exchange data. The first typed message ever sent over a computer network came from UCLA to Stanford on October 21st, 1969. It was supposed to be the word login, but only the letters L and O were transmitted before the system crashed. Still, the precedent was set. And by 1971, 15 computers at universities throughout the U.S. were on the ARPANET network. The network would evolve into the internet we know today, one with over 1 billion websites and over 3.5 billion users. Almost 50% of the world's population has access to the Internet today. Kleinrock received the National Medal of Science from President George Bush in 2007 for what he and his colleagues achieved on that day back in 1969. You might say that on September 2nd, when this first connection was made, the Internet took its first breath of life. 